I'm Mike Gaffney and I'm at the San Francisco uh, Flower Markets here in San Francisco, California. We are at uh, the grower markets here. It's unbelievable. Um, we have schools in San Francisco, Chicago, Minneapolis, New York, LA, and San Diego. One of the things we do in the school is we tour these markets. Unbelievable amount of flowers, best product grown locally. Uh, incredible selection of orchids. They've got orchid mega stores here in San Francisco. Uh, basically, uh, San Francisco School of Flower Design is located right here in the markets. Most of my schools are. We uh, turn beginners into pros. We teach you the, as the essentials of design. So when we're done with you, you will know how to design flowers. We take you from beginner to pro. Teach you the basic design and construction, construction of everything you see in a magazine. Not only do we talk about design, though, we also talk about the economics of design. It's important to market, to sell. You can be the best designer in the world, but if you're not selling your designs, you're sitting at home. So uh, it's a lot of marketing, a lot of sales technique. It's, it's design. It's great design. But most people think flower designing is 90% uh, creativity. That's 10% of my job. The majority of it is constructing, as I say, that building, setting the height, setting the width, and choosing the style. Are you doing an English look? Are you doing a tropical look? Are you doing a classic American look? Whatever the look is, you follow those chess moves, I call them. Like doing a Rubik's Cube, only much easier. It would be easier to play chess, but there's a few rules to every design. That's how we do it as top designers. That's what, that's what enables us to go to work every day. And boom, 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 boom. Uh, great designs, uh, one after another, whether you're in the mood. I'm not in the mood for flowers. I, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not happy today. I still got to produce gorgeous flowers. I got other stuff on my mind. Practically do it blindfolded. Why? We follow these techniques. Every top flower designer uses it, and that's what we teach in our schools. Commercial, saleable flower designing. Uh, so whether you're in San Francisco, LA, San Diego, Milwaukee, Chicago, soon to be Miami. I'm going to Miami next week to uh, open a school, or Boston, join us uh, for design. Uh, flowers are blooming, careers are blooming at the San Francisco School of Flower Design, and uh, I guarantee you, you come to school, we will teach you how to design. Uh, join us in San Francisco. Hi, this is San Francisco School of Flower Design. I'm Mike Gaffney, the director. Uh, more design tips for you. Today, I'm going to tell you, show you what to do with tulips. We all love tulips. Spring is coming up. Everybody buys tulips and you take them home and you put them in a vase and you play with them for an hour and a half and they look like that. It's just not so bad. But I'm going to give you an alternative. Uh, a lot of florists, uh, even florists, find tulips difficult to work with. They're very uh, 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 thin, they, they bounce all over the place, they hang in every direction. So uh, today we're at the San Francisco School of Flower Design. I'm at SF Flora, one of the uh, great vendors here in the California flower markets, uh, which by the way, if you've never been, it's unbelievable. They have the most incredible flowers, a sea, of an ocean of flowers here at the markets. If you're in town and you're visiting uh, the Golden Gate, it's okay. I'd rather come to the San Francisco flower markets and uh, see all it's much prettier than even the Golden Gate Bridge, I think. But then again, I am the professor of flowers. Uh, again, San Francisco School of Flower Design, here's some of the tips we teach at class. Here's your mistake. When you go to the florist, you pick up your tulips, you forget the greens. Every great designer works with greens. And I'm going to make this really easy. I'm going to remove uh, some of the foliage under here, which causes bacteria. That's the number one killer of your flowers, bacteria in the water and evaporation through the surface. And I'm going to, what I call, stuff the drain. I'm going to stuff some greenery into this container. Why? Because in lieu of foam, it acts as a holder of your flowers, so you're not flip-flopping all around. Uh, how hard is that, right? Anyone can do it. Uh, we're going to learn how to base these flowers today. In the flower design school, we have upper deck, lower deck, and the penthouse. When you design flowers at home, the first thing you do is go to the bottom of the vase, don't you? I know you do. That's how you get this. Little windshield wipers. I'm going to teach you how to do full windshield wipers. That's the biggest difference between the professionals and the non-professionals. You sit flowers on the bottom of the vase. When I design flowers, they never sit at the bottom of the vase. We're going to go to the lower deck. All around the outside. One. I've got ten in a bunch. Most flowers come in as much as a ten when you're at the wholesale market. Two. Turning my container. It's like seating. 
Dining room uh, chairs are on your table. Pretend you're having a dinner party and you're just setting chairs. Uh, I'm going across the base. Notice how I hold this too. Lay, uh, the designers hold it up here. Uh, uh, if you have been trained, uh, the top designers hold them like writing pens and we insert them and then we feed them. Can you get this? We feed it into our container. That stem is hitting right over here and stopping. Not touching the bottom of the base. It's off the base. Off the bottom of the base. So there's number three. There's four. And here's five. Moving on real quick. Now I go to the upper deck, which is right here. Architecture 101. Clean these off. Uh, feed those in there. There's one. Two. So you notice these greens help to prop the flowers up so they don't look so, uh, these are very thin, very wildly. They help uh, support these beautiful tulips so they don't look like, uh, they're just flip flopping around in a vase. And there's four. Again, anybody can go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of tulips. If you want to look like a designer, you've got to know a little bit more. What you need to know is how to stuff the drain with some foliage. This is uh, Seated You. Matt from SF Flores here. Matt, where does the Seated You come from? It's California grown. California. You know, I'm from Wisconsin, and in Wisconsin, nothing grows. No, well, a few things, but not like here in California. Is all this where the tulips from? They are also California grown. They are grown on my family farm in the central California, San Luis Obispo area. <clears throat> I always recommend to uh, people that come in who are not local or not from the area, or that don't have a flower market like this one nearby, uh, visit your local farmer's market. Uh, there's always local growers, always fresh product. Um, I would always stop in there and take a look. Farmer's markets. A good idea. Uh, so these two, look, what month is it? February, right? Yes, sir. And these grow in February? Yes, we grow. I know, it's warm here, but that's January through about April is our tulip season. Wow. Wow, I just left Milwaukee and Chicago the other day and it was uh, minus three and I don't think they even had a tulip in the flower shop. It's so cold. Uh, now we're going to take some Heather. Watch this. Put a little up in the penthouse. Give him a little Heather. Put a little in the upper deck. Or a little lower deck, rather. Put a little down there. We're going to follow that same pattern. You, you know what I'm going to say now. I want you easy breezy, beautiful flower designing. By San Francisco School of Flower Design. Uh, and this is why you get paid a designer's fee. In the middle of every bridal table or the luncheon table is a beautiful bouquet of tulips, seated you, and Heather. So, see that guy who wants to lay down? We're going to prop him up a little bit with a little bit of Heather. That's another one of my tricks. Use other flowers to prop flowers up. And we're going to finish this off, cleaning off our stems. We're gonna put Tuck that in. I put a little Heather in the upper deck, penthouse, lower deck, all around the house. I'm always saying in class, put some product all around the house. We're going to prop that guy with a little bit of Heather. So, it's about using other, you know, people when they buy flowers, they, always, they just think flowers. Um, as a top designer, you've got to think greens and fillers. The first thing you learn when you work in a flower shop is grab that filler because it makes everything you uh, work with look beautiful. Uh, here's some more Heather over here, over by my mat. Uh, we've got more great California products, um, but I'm telling you, if you want pretty flowers and you're new, grab some fillers, because fillers just, uh, I call it the border between the bricks. It makes everything pretty, and it blurs the lines between your flowers, so if your tulips are slightly off by half an inch, you won't notice. Uh, oh, here's some Genestra, look what I found, way underneath, some Genestra, another great California filler. When is this available? Again. It's late winter, early spring. I know you mentioned it in my other video, it wasn't around very often. And uh, I know that every designer waits for Ganesha to come out in spring because it makes us look like design stars, which, by the way, is the title of my new book. It's called Design Stars Lessons from the New York School of Flower Design. Uh, and there you have it. Nicely arranged tulips in a pretty little vase for your dining room table. That's what you do with tulips, and it didn't. It costs a little bit more for the seated uke, and it costs a little bit for the heather. I'm telling you, you get a great look. 
that'll dazzle your guests when they come over for dinner. So again, thanks to Matt from uh, SF Flora. Uh, when you're in San Francisco, come to the flower markets and uh, uh, drop my name with Matt, and he'll get you the best flowers. Uh, and we're the San Francisco School of Flower Design. Thank you very much. Try this at home today.